Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I am just out on a dinner date night at Casa Loma, so I thought I would take you along, and also I thought this was a beautiful place to start the vlog. One of my deliveries this week was the side table that we got for right here beside the sofa and it's got the new lamp on it so I think that looks really good. I might try styling it a little bit different soon but I've just been moving so many things around this week that I thought I would leave that alone for now. I also think it'd be really nice if I got a little box to keep the remotes in. I also picked this up at Marshall's. I just don't think you can ever have enough vases, so I thought this one was really beautiful and it's very heavy, so I thought the quality was great and I will have to get some more florals to put in that. Plus, I thought I would mention, um, I saw two more of these. I think the shape was slightly different, but the texture was the same, so I would imagine it's the same company. And I saw someone on Stories posting about it, so if you were interested in getting one of these, definitely check out HomeSense or Marshalls or any of those stores to see if you can find one. So I was trying to figure out how I was going to fill this hole because when you get a lamp kit, the piece that comes up is very skinny. Um, and while I did consider spinning it around, I really like the shape of this at current. So I went into the basement thinking, what can I put in that spot? And I found this, which sits perfectly this way or I could turn it around that way so I think I'm going to spray paint this black and kind of try to give it the same coloring as the rest of this and I will drill a hole in it and I also need to drill a hole in the bottom um, for the wire to come out so that is going to be my next step um, and I could run to the store and get the lamp kit now or I could just wait until tomorrow which is what I'm kind of leading towards so it's phase two of the lamp DIY thing so let me show you that situation so number one I wanted to show you the two different ways that you do this so this I bought at the hardware store um it's not what I'm going to use but this is the kit to make a mason jar lamp so the reason I am not using this one is because you can see the wiring comes out of this top part. So you would add it on to the lamp like this and the wire would come off of the side. So if you are not interested in doing any electrical, but you want to do this DIY, you could definitely use this. It would be fine. It's just the wire would come off of the top rather than through the bottom. This kit I got on Amazon and you can see that the electrical is going to come from the bottom and it has all the instructions on how to do that. And this wire you can see right there is not actually um, attached at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through the bottom of this pot so the wire can come through with the plug outside of it. And then I'm going to drill a hole through this so that this part can sit right there. I'm going to use this masonry bit to drill the hole in here and then through the bottom. I'm going to do this one first because if it breaks, I have another and then I have a plan of action. Whereas if this breaks, I'm in more of an issue. So I'm having trouble drilling through the bottom of this pot. Like that tiny little hole is all I've been able to do in like 10 minutes. Um, so I'm wondering, although I've opened this, if I should just switch to this kit and um, I can still use this, but then the 
the cord just comes off the top. I don't know. So I managed to get the hole in the bottom with enough persistence and I picked this up from the hardware store because the back of this kit says that you needed an existing lamp nipple and I did not have that. It only came with this one. So I went and bought this um, and there were many different options. So I went with this one just in case I needed this cover plate, which I can paint gold. So I've just put one of these through this hole and then I'm gonna use one of these, which was in the kit to put it on the other side to hold it in place. And then I'm going to thread this piece, which the kit came with on to here. I also didn't get the hole right in the middle, but I'm not a perfectionist here. So, so it's nice and tight on there. And then this is part of this kit. So it comes like this and you just separate it off. This piece, you put this piece in here. Let's try that again. Put this piece in here. Then we're gonna put the wire through the bottom. So here's the plug and I'm gonna take the other end and push it through. So it's right here. And then I'm gonna follow the directions that it came with to hook it on to this piece. So when you've got it like this, you need to add on this part. Obviously, if your lampshade has the little spring bits on it that clip around the lampshade, then you're, or on the um, light bulb, then you're fine, but mine probably isn't going to, so I'm gonna attach this. So you have to put that on before the other parts. So if you never used these before, you just lift up these little bits like that, oops, and give it a squeeze and it comes out which will make the rest of this a little bit easier. So I pulled the wire through this part and then I'm gonna tie a knot. Apparently that's what you're supposed to do um, just in case like it gets pulled so it doesn't cause any strain. And then I'm going to hook it on to this part um, and this actually pops out. And I'm going to put the wires around these um, according to this. So now that I've got this done, I'm gonna work on this part. So this comes off of here and then I'm gonna attach these wires onto these screws and it tells you in the instructions which one goes to which screw hole. So now I've got this done. I just put this little cover sleeve back over top and then it kind of locks in with these grooves. So I'm just gonna push it down. The moment of truth. There we go. So this is something I've had for a little while um, and didn't know what to do with. And the original plan was to actually paint it because when you look inside the drawers, underneath, it's all the same color. So I thought that that meant it was probably just that color and then I couldn't sand it down. But I quickly sanded down this corner and sure enough, I probably could. So I think I might try to do that. Um, so I brought it upstairs to the third floor because I thought that would be a little bit better for lighting and filming and everything. Unfortunately, it is way warmer up here but I'm hoping I will survive it. And since it's not really finished up here and we've got that door I can open, it will hopefully be okay. Um, and also just because I've been trying to film more Instagram and TikTok stuff, I can film it a little better here because if I, far, I film far enough back, it's fine for you guys to watch back, but also then I can crop it to be 
portrait if it's far enough back. So that's kind of the general idea. Um, I also think that I can take this apart. So I think that is the first order of business. Um, and I gave the sander back to my neighbor. So I'm gonna have to probably try to do this by hand. It's not gonna be ideal, but let's give it a go. In worst case scenario, I can always paint it like my original plan was. I'm just taking a break because it's three, so my vlog is going live today, but it's been hard, geez. It took a lot of effort just to do that section, so then I decided maybe I should try and just borrow a palm sander again, or orbit sander, whatever we want to call it. So then I started doing the edges, which I did find a little bit easier. I think I'm gonna like the color, but hard to know until I've sanded it all. Um, not fun sanding this. Back to this project. So here's my new toy. Um, so I got the Ryobi Random Orbit Sander and I got the corded one. I think while Chris's dad has a lot of the Ryobi tools that are wireless um, with the batteries, I was worried that if you're doing a big sanding job, the battery is going to die. So you're going to have to keep switching them out and that just seemed annoying. Um, plus it was cheaper this way, and the reason I picked this one was because it wasn't super expensive and I didn't really want to spend a lot of money, so hopefully it'll be fine. Um, and it did come with a few sanding discs. I did purchase them, but they were honestly expensive. I found out after the fact um, from someone on Instagram that you can actually get like huge packs of these, like for like a hundred of them for... $20 and I paid $20 for maybe 10. So I'm gonna, I think, return these and then get the Amazon ones and then I'll just try to use the ones that came with for now. Um, luckily, I have a plug right there, so I don't think I need an extension cord for this. But I am worried that because the um, floor I'm on is hollow, that I should probably put something under there so it's not super loud. Um, and mostly the only reason I'm up here is uh, because the filming is better for you guys. So here's how it is looking after sanding. I cannot get in these like dark lines. Um, I tried to do a bit by hand, it's really tough. So I'm thinking of painting that white as well as the other dark spots and then whitewashing the whole thing. That's kind of what my current thought is. So I decided in these darker areas that I'm just gonna use some paint. I'm just using white dove, it's just wall paint. And then once that's done, I'm going to apply the white wash. Hopefully it should look good and should help with those darker areas that I don't love. Of course the video of me whitewashing it did not work, however, it is now done and this is what I used. Oh, I'm watching TV. I thought I would work on a little DIY project that I've been putting off, but I'm gonna pop it on the screen. I wanted one of these decorative like knots that you put on bookcases or books or whatever for styling. Um, and this Studio McGee Target one would be so easy to make with modeling clay. And I saw this at HomeSense for $4.99 each. So I got two of them because on Amazon they were over, I wanna say $12, $14 each. So I'm gonna try and make one. Um, I think it's gonna be super easy. I'm just gonna roll it out kind of like a sausage and make it into a link and then attach them. I don't know, we'll see, but I will time lapse it so you can kind of see what I am 
attempting to do and then it's air hardening so I'll just let it dry and see how it looks but I could potentially paint it to look like wood like theirs or just leave it white. So this is how it looks. It's got some texture to it and um, I'm probably going to leave a lot of it. Maybe I'll try to smooth out this line. But because it's supposed to be like carved wood, I actually think that some of the texture um, does make it look that way. Maybe I need to smooth out this a little bit more. But this kind of texturing, I think that I'm going to leave. I'll just try to smooth the lines out a little bit. Um, you can see my hands are also covered. Um, and I'm also using parchment paper so it doesn't stick to anything and I'm going to let it dry on this um, and read the package to see how long that is going to take. So this has been drying all week. Um, and you see it's got quite a bit of texture but I think it'll give it that kind of woody limestone whatever texture it's supposed to have like the Studio Mickey one. So now I think I'm going to try and paint it to give it more of that look and I'll put a reminder on the screen of what I'm trying to make. So I'm thinking of just mixing some paint until I get the right color. So here's a look at all of the DIYs from this week. I still need to get different handles for here, but I put the old ones just in for now. The lamp. I think I still need to get a different shade, but this one's working for now. And then the knot. I think I still want to touch it up a little bit to make the coloring a bit better, but looks pretty good so one thing that i might need to do is because the bottom of this was flat and i've got this cable coming out i think that if i put those little felt um pads on the bottom that you put on furniture it would raise it up enough so i think that's something i've got to do but it's not super like wiggly so i don't know i might just leave it two things that i switched around this week is i ended up putting this little stool here with the vase that you guys saw in last vlog and i think it looks really nice because there is a light here so when i had the olive tree here it made weird shadows so i think this looks a lot better and then i moved the olive tree here which i really love because i pass it all the time and it makes me happy so i think that was a good little replacement for this spot after i took the cat tree upstairs I'm going to wrap the vlog up here. I hope you enjoyed all of the various DIYs and things like that that I got up to this week. Um, I don't know why I was just in a crafty mood, and I know I said I was thinking of starting the powder room this week, but I actually decided to reach out to a few different companies and see if they wanted to work together on it because I could create content for them. They could provide materials to me, so hoping that I'll hear back, but I got a lot of out of offices, so we'll see, but I hope you have an amazing week. Also, let me know what you're thinking about the bonus vlogs on Wednesday. I don't know if you're liking them or not liking them, so I'd love a little bit of feedback for those weeks that I am able to actually put out an extra video.